Welcome to Learn My PC. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about PDFs. PDFs are used every day in the workforce, and in many instances, you can't even get into the workforce unless you know how to create one. So, we're going to talk about how PDFs work, how to create PDFs online, how to create PDFs offline using free software, and how to turn a PDF back into a normal document that you can edit. Let's get started. Now chances are you've used PDFs before. PDFs are not that uncommon. And this is the icon. You've probably seen this before on your computer. This simply means that the file you're looking at is a PDF. But let's build kind of a, a, a groundwork, a, a foundation for understanding why PDFs are used. And then we'll be able to understand why they're used so much and in so many different areas of, of computing. First you got to understand that PDFs were created by Adobe Systems. It stands for Portable Document Formatting. And Adobe Systems are the Photoshop guys. I mean, they make really high quality, impressive software. Now, if we think about that, Portable Document Formatting, what might that mean? Well, Adobe saw a problem. Um, when we tried to exchange files between computers, uh, depending on the operating system like Windows, the software like Microsoft Word, or the hardware itself, it would not transfer very well. Things would be changed a little bit, formatting would be a little bit different. Um, and so they wanted to figure out a way to transfer files from one computer to another without losing any of the formatting. So it looked exactly the same on every computer it was opened on. Now they created this software in 1993, so it's been a while, but it's it's lasted and hasn't really changed much since then. Um, they've added features, but for the most part, the the core is the same. So a, a, a PDF is part text and it's part image. Um, the text is recognized, and, but it's also got the images and the layout, and and it records the exact position on the screen that all these all these different pieces of content occupy. So in a way it's kind of taking a, a picture of the document but remembering that there's text in there and that it's not just treating the text as an image. So again it's it's because we want a consistent product. We want to send something to someone and know that they'll open it up and see exactly what we created. Um, resumes are a good example of this. Almost everywhere you submit a resume they'll require it to be in PDF format. Um, applications for various sources, legal documents, almost all of these are in PDF because the formatting, the size, uh, the content is very uh, format and appearance sensitive. And it, it's important that what you look at is exactly the same thing that the person that receives it look at, looks at, especially with legal documents, as you can imagine. Now, one of the best parts of PDFs is that you can actually view a PDF in a web browser. Um, it's very hard to view a, a Word document or a PowerPoint or these things within a web browser, but with a PDF, you absolutely can. Um, so let me just give you a scenario. You want to send out a registration form for an upcoming event to a list of people that you're in charge of or that you're inviting to this event. Now, all the forms look the same. They're all on one page. Now, you want them to come back all looking the same, all on one page. Without a PDF, you might get people doing it on front and back. They might be different sizes. The images might not have had the text wrap around them. All the formatting you worked so hard to, to do is lost. And as you try to compile the registration list, it's not quite as smooth and as, as quick as you hoped. Um, for example, here's a little document that you've got. You've got an image with text wrapped around it, um, spaced out, double spaced. You send this to someone else, they open it up in their uh, word processing document, and suddenly it's completely different. The text isn't wrapped, uh, the image is in the middle, the, the font is a different font. It's just PDF solves this problem completely. And so in the professional world, they use it every day. Like I said, applications. Um, if you ever try to take a class at a university and, and uh, submit an assignment, they will require it nine times out of 10 in PDF, as well as a Word document. And in offices, the workplace, same thing. PDFs, daily 
occurrence. So how do we view PDFs? Let's say we go to a computer, we try to open a PDF and it doesn't open. Um, we need to download Adobe Reader and, and it'll work in the browser, like we mentioned, it'll work alone on its own. Um, but to do that, we need to go to adobe.com. Now let's do this in real time. Uh, the first thing we'll want to do is open up our Internet Explorer web browser. When that opens up, we're going to go up to the address bar up at the top here. We're going to type in adobe.com. So a d o b e dot com. Now when the site comes up, it's going to be on the um, bottom or middle right hand side that we're going to look for. It's going to be Adobe Reader. So click on that link right there and it'll take us to the Adobe Reader download page. And on this page, it's actually going to uh, ask us if we want to install a toolbar as well. Uh, we do not want to install that toolbar. And so we'll uncheck that and click on download. Now it's going to ask us if we want to install something and we actually do not want to install something. Um, that is a, an Adobe download manager. And what we want to do is just click on the link right here that says click here to download. This will just do it much easier and, and faster for us. We'll click on save and I'll save this to our, uh, our desktop. And while it's downloading, since I'm on a little bit slower connection, I'm going to pause the video so you don't get bored watching my software download. We'll just finish downloading, and here is the icon on our desktop for the installation manager. Well, while it was downloading, I actually pulled over a PDF file from one of my uh, folders on my computer and set it right here. As you can see, it doesn't have an icon yet. That's because I don't have Adobe Reader on this computer yet, but watch what happens after we install Adobe Reader. To install, we'll just double click on it. It's going to take us through a little setup wizard. We'll click on Run. Then we'll click on Next. Then we'll click on Install. And it'll take a minute or two for it to install. Um, but all it's going to do is install Adobe Reader onto our computer. And now this will be accessible through our web browser. It will also be accessible to uh, just open up a PDF file separately like the one that we have on our desktop. Once it's finished, all we have to do is click Finish. And now, as you can see, it has now turned into the PDF icon and our Adobe Reader 9 is listed right here. If we double click on that, it'll open up in its own separate window. And we will now see that PDF, or I'm sorry, that Adobe Reader 9 is officially installed on our system and we can view PDFs to our heart's content. This concludes the free portion of today's Learn My PC lesson. If you'd like access to the rest of the lesson, as well as Q&A with Learn My PC Text and Learn My PC's new feature, Payback, where we teach you how to save hundreds of dollars using your computer, visit learnmypc.org slash gold. If you'd like new lesson alerts when new free lessons are available, just enter your name and email address in the boxes below this video, and we'll shoot you an email when new lessons are ready.